It's 2022 and Game Boy mods are everywhere and affordable. And with the recent release of the analog pocket and its low production quantities and very high price tag, people are gagging to play their Game Boy games on a high quality display with awesome new features. And the mod that we're going to be doing today is going to allow people to play their Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on a crisp IPS display. Without any further ado, let's check it out. So in order to mod a Game Boy, you're going to need one of these, an Atari Lynx. Do you think it looks so important? Next, I take my screwdriver and free its soul from its plastic prison, also known as disassembly. Once the back shell is off, we will need to remove a further three screws from the motherboard. Then finally, disconnect the ribbon cable and lift it out. This modded Game Boy will feature a RetroPixel LCD 2.0 screen, an absolute must have for your latest Game Boy Color mods. It comes with a ribbon cable, three wires, a touch sensor and the screen itself, with a screen lens pre-laminated on. This thing is a beast and has loads of cool features we'll take a look at later. Let's start by preparing the screen's flexible PCB. We shall apply some flux and tin up all of the pads, then solder the wires into place. Once this is done, I then clean up the solder joints with some isopropyl alcohol as well as the Game Boy's motherboard. We will then seat the ribbon cable into place and solder the power wire to the pad on the switch labelled C. After that, we can test it. Now let's solder the start and select controls to nearby test points. A legend modder by the name of Natalie the Nerd has made giving your Game Boy light up buttons super simple. Go ahead and solder her flex PCB into place. And finally, retro modding sell these pre cut shells on the sea shore. <laughs> which are molded to fit all of these modded components with no modification to the plastic. Peel back the 3M tape on the screen and seat it down into place. Then connect the screen to the ribbon cable and apply the black sticker to the back of the screen to avoid shorting any of the components. I will also put some Kapton tape on the top of the screen's ribbon cable and close it all up. Yeah. 
So here we have it, the 2022 Ultimate Game Boy Color build. And I have to say, I'm blown away by the RetroPixel 2.0 LCD screen. It has five different features which you can access using the touch sensor and a combination of button presses. Let me go through these features now. So pressing and holding the start and select button is going to make the logo change at the bottom. Now, as you can see, when you use the touch sensor, you can go through different words illuminated on the logo. And this is gonna correspond with different settings on the actual screen itself. So it's super clever. Let's start with the most simple one here. You can change the color of the logo by pressing the start button. You can go through them left and right and change whatever one you want Let's have a look at this one here, the green one. And then when you hold start and select again, it's gonna stop you from being in the settings mode. And you can see there, it's gonna illuminate the logo in whichever color you've chosen. Now, what happens when we press start and select together is you can actually change the location of the screen. So if you need to adjust it for whatever reason, if something's not displaying correctly, you can move it up and down by pressing the start and select button. So as you can see, when I mash that loads, it's gonna go all all the way down and a massive black line at the top is going to appear and you can do the same with pressing start it's going to go back up so you can find that perfect center which is really nice so that's how you move the screen up and down now you can move it side to side by pressing and hold the start and select using the touch sensor once and then using start and select again you can see you can make the screen move left and right which is another nice feature again just to ensure that your screen is perfectly centered and then the final one is really gonna be a personal preference one. Holding down the touch sensor is gonna change the different pixel modes of the screen. So let me see if I can show you this here. You have to hold it down for a couple of seconds. And there we go. Possibly the most noteworthy one is the second to last, which is gonna give you accurate pixel lines on the screen, which is how the Game Boy actually looked on the original hardware. So I know that might have been a little bit annoying for some people, but I really wanted to showcase all of the different features. It's absolutely mind blowing how many it has. Now, obviously this thing isn't gonna play any Game Boy Advance games, which is where it's gonna significantly differ from the analog pocket. But as you can see, that screen is really going to rival the analog pocket. These are going to be a really obvious comparison. This thing is a little bit over $200, which is quite a lot of money. And if you want to buy one right now on eBay, it's going to set you back about $600. So please take into consideration the fact that you cannot just simply pick up one of these. Now, the analog pocket has a plethora of additional features that this Game Boy is never going to have. But what we have to remember is this thing is gonna cost a fraction of the price. The screen is $60, the LED button mod, which isn't really necessary, is 30. The shell and the buttons is gonna set you back about 15 to $20, depending on what you go for. So you have here in total, a little bit over $100 of a package, and you don't even need the buttons, as I said. So you can get this thing built for under $100, and you can pick up a Game Boy from Japan for 20 maximum so it's a much cheaper alternative and you can customize it to make it as nice as you want and it's available to do so now so there's loads of pros and cons versus this and the analog pocket my biggest pet peeve with this compared to this after playing so much analog pocket is the sound it just does not cut it one thing i should mention as well is power draw on this screen is at an all-time low for these ips screen mods if you want to find out more information about that uh, check out the website in the link in the description below because uh, some people are going to be interested in that level of information other people aren't so uh, it is worth noting though that this isn't going to absolutely drain battery life but obviously the analog pocket has a far bigger battery now there are rechargeable Game Boy Color mods that you can do but I wanted to keep this fairly straightforward and I also it was really important to me that we kept the price tag down as much as possible because there's no point in saying this is the ultimate Game Boy and it's going to cost you $600 because not many people have that amount of money to spend on a Game Boy uh, so there we go that right there is my ultimate Game Boy Color mod for 2022 what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a like and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.